Yeah. I got the juice. juice. No AP. I got your juicy entertainment news for Friday. A fire at a mansion in the Garden District of New Orleans that is believed to be owned by Beyonce and Jay Z is being investigated as possible arson after the building went up in smoke on Wednesday night. Uh, the New Orleans Police Department confirmed that they received reports of a suspicious person near the property, and the fire department said that the property's been vacant for quite a few years. Uh, as a matter of fact, they've actually had uh, some of the neighbors complaining about the fact that uh, the property was kind of. Uh, in shambles um, and uh, they had to have 22 firefighters respond to the scene it was just insane um, it took them two hours to get it out to extinguish it there were no reported injuries or evacuations thankfully um, and the full extent of the damage still remains unclear it's a three-story mansion which is more than a 13,000 square feet and it was originally built in 1925 um, the Garden District is probably one of the most beautiful beautiful places in New Orleans um, it was originally built built as a Presbyterian church. It later turned into a ballet school and then was converted into a luxury home. It's valued at $3 million. It has seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, bold arch windows, 25-foot ceilings. Amazing. Um, and my favorite, a rooftop garden with views of the city, including the Mississippi River Bridge and the Superdome. Now, here's why they feel that it might belong to Jay-Z and Beyonce. The house was bought by Sugarcane Parkin in 2015, a California-based company that is managed by Celestine Lawson, which is Tina Knowles' legal name, uh, Beyonce's mom. So that's why they believe that the house belongs to Beyonce and Jay-Z. And speaking of Jay-Z, yes, fans uh, have been all over the internet freaking out over the Jay-Z feature on Kanye's new album, Donda, that was debuted last night. He held a listening event in Atlanta at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium that uh, he arrived uh, over an hour late for, of course, in Kanye style. Um, but it was the surprise Jay-Z feature that quickly outshined every Everything except the overpriced snacks. Um, <laughs> everybody was talking about the snack bar menu that was insanely overpriced. Are you ready? Sweet and salty kettle corn for $35. Uh, you could get yourself some crispy chicken tenders for $50. Cookies and brownies for $45. Or if you wanted a assorted snack basket, $65. Bucks. So Kanye. So, so Kanye. Um, and here's something else that's so Kanye. His album was supposed to drop at midnight, but it still hasn't been uploaded <laughs> to any of the streaming services yet. Now, Kanye did say, fair enough, that it's arriving on Friday, which possibly meant maybe later on in the day, not at the stroke of midnight, as we all would expect. Um, but, of course, another reason could be, now that we've heard it, Jay-Z's feature, which apparently was just added yesterday afternoon. Crazy, right? Um, and that might be the reason for the delay. And, of course, fans have been having a lot of fun on the Internet. Uh, Dragon Kim Kardashian saying that the only reason why Jay-Z did the feature is because Kanye divorced her. Um, since we're talking about billionaires, we have to welcome LeBron to the club. That's right. LeBron James has just become the first active NBA player to hit $1 billion in career earnings. Um, Space Jam 2 helped push him into the billionaire status. Now, he has earned $330 million from his NBA salary and $700 million for merchandise, endorsements, his media company, and other off-court endeavors. Um, he has his lifetime contract with Nike, which may soon be worth $1 billion. Um, and numerous endorsements with GMC, AT&T, Walmart, Beats, Pepsi, and more. Plus, of course, his thriving media company that's produced uh, The Shop for HBO, uh, The Wall for ABC, Game Show, and several documentaries, and most recently, Space Jam, A New Legacy, which was a huge hit at the box office. Now, LeBron James is the first player from a U.S. team sport to earn $1 billion during his career while still active. And that's the key right there because remember, Jordan wasn't active in his playing career when he hit uh, $1 billion and $2 billion. And of course, Floyd Mayweather, Tiger Woods, all of those guys, yes, they are all billionaire status, but they are not part of a U.S. team. So there you go. LeBron making history and uh, definitely doing his thing. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Friday. Lock it in again on Monday for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.